Hey guys, I had a friend over recently and she noticed that I had a couple shoulder holsters out. Um, I was looking at them for whatever reason and she asked me about them. How do they work? What are they for? And I thought it might be interesting to do a video on that. Point of a holster is to make sure the gun doesn't go anywhere and that the trigger is covered and securely holds the gun against your body. A lot of people use holsters outside on their strong hand side. That's a very common way. Um, some people have concealable holsters that are inside the waistband. Um, you can do ankle holsters. You know, they, they all pretty much serve the same purpose, which is to securely fasten your gun close to your body and have it within reach, and, but also be safe. The question is, what is a shoulder holster for? And why would you choose that over a, a better holster on any given day? So the way a shoulder holster works is that you have two loops generally, sometimes it's just one. You put one arm through this loop, one arm through that loop, and then the gun itself hangs generally between your clavicle and your navel. Um, it's typically on your weak side. So in other words, it's a cross draw system. You go from your strong side, I happen to be right handed, strong side to weak side, that's where you draw the gun. So the gun itself hangs on your weak side. You can see the way that it's held on my body it's pretty much the weight of the gun pulls it all down and keeps it tight um, like I said not particularly comfortable this is a pretty lightweight gun and I would feel this wearing it all day um, also you notice that it kind of flops here a little bit um, a lot of sh shoulder holsters come with straps that you can put on your belt loop and it keeps it tight I generally don't employ that there's certain circumstances I do but typically if I'm wearing a shoulder holster it, I mean it's fine like when I do my draw I usually just push down with my left hand and keep it tight like that so I don't really need that extra stability and I don't really like it. So, so there's a lot of pros and cons about any kind of holster. Um, in my opinion, shoulder holsters kind of have more cons than pros. Um, they're not particularly comfortable. Okay, you can feel it on your shoulders if you're wearing a gun every day. They're not particularly concealable unless you have specially tailored clothes. I mean, if you put this under even a normal suit jacket or something, you'll be able to, to, to see the lump. And this is not a very big gun. Um, and they're usually expensive as hell. So that being said, why would anyone choose one on any given day over a better holster or a more convenient holster? So I can't speculate on what most people <laughs> do or wh what their motivations are. If I had to guess, I would say that a lot of people like shoulder holsters because they think they look cool. It's like Miami Vice or something, you know, and like in the movies, you know, you see these guys wearing suits and shit and they take off their jacket and they got holsters. I mean, it, yeah, I guess cool, I guess, but that's Hollywood. That's not the real, re anybody who buys a holster based on that kind of a thing needs to fucking stop carrying guns. I mean, that's not, that's not a good enough reason to have a system for carrying a gun because you think it looks cool. Um, so in my personal life, there's a few reasons why they exist to me. I have shoulder holsters for pretty much every pistol I have, um, just in case, okay? But there is very specific reasoning for that because I wouldn't waste money on a system that I would never use. The first reason that I ever wear a shoulder holster is at the movie theater. Um, in general, a movie theater is not the place that you want to be open carrying a gun nowadays. You can fuck around and cause a panic. I mean, no matter what your motivations are, you don't want to be insensitive to other people. So even though I do generally carry a gun when I'm at the movies, um, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to carry it outside on your belt. So there's a factor of concealability. Um, the other side of that is that you are sitting down in a chair. So even if you had something on your strong side, you know, it's kind of hard to, to reach down here if you had to use it. Um, plus, I am not by any measure a small man. So it's hard enough for me to get my fat self into a, a movie theater seat and be comfortable in there without a fucking gun on one side smashing against the metal side of the chair. So it's just not comfortable. Even if it was totally normal to wear a gun in a theater openly, it just wouldn't make sense. You know, A, for ease of, of access, and B, because I'm too fat. So. You know, it makes better sense in a situation like that to have a gun that is, is, is readily accessible and also doesn't impede me in any way from, from enjoying my seat. You know, so, like, you know, if you needed to, it's just right there. You know, that's kind of the, the point. So that is a situation under which it is reasonable, in my opinion, to have a shoulder holster. So the next and more common reason that I wear a shoulder holster is when I'm outdoors, hiking or backpacking or that kind of thing. Um, there's a couple reasons for this. Number one, um, the most important things that I feel like I'm going to need on a hike goes on my belt. Okay, I've been on a million hikes. I've never drawn my gun on anything. Okay, but I fucking drawn bear spray before, and I use my knife all the time. 
So as far as like actually what is important, the number one thing, you know, when you need to go fast is the bear spray. And the most common thing I use is my knife. So this is what I'm gonna have on my belt. You know, if you strap a gun on after this, your pants are gonna fall off, okay? So this is a good time for a shoulder holster in my opinion. With the weight of the backpack I'm already carrying, I, I don't even notice it. So I mean, I don't count grams, you know, when I'm out backpacking, so I don't notice it. So I do know it's there. Like, you know, I can reach it, but it is not like my first thing that I'm reaching for. So it doesn't, you know, this is a good place for it. You can see this particular shoulder holster on this side has um, extra rounds and everything as well. So it's kind of a convenient system. But the other reason that I wear a shoulder holster when I'm hiking as opposed to a belt holster is because, you know, when I'm walking through trees or if I'm kind of cutting through brush or whatever, I'm very aware of what's happening in front of me at this level. Okay, if I see a branch coming at my chest, I can move it out of the way. Okay, I'm not scared of this getting snagged or anything. Down here, back here, it's kind of whatever. And, you know, I might turn a corner on a tree and I'm not really noticing it. It pulls it out of the holster or something. It just feels safer to me. You know, when there's something coming to me at chest level, I, I feel like I am aware of it. And the most important thing is to make sure this gun stays in this holster to avoid accidental discharges. So I just feel safer with it here when I'm walking through brush or heavy timber. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Just a few quick thoughts on shoulder rigs and um, tell me what you think. How do you guys carry? Do you carry? So anyway, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.